up, Redskins fan? This is Brandon Williams with your Redskins report for Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM in Hopewell, Virginia. The Redskins and the Bengals went all the way to overtime, but neither team could finish the job. The game ended in a tie, 27-27. to Let's go to the stats real quick. Kirk Cousins, he had a career high, 458 passing guards today. And then we also want to point out, too, that Rob Kelly, who stepped in for Matt Jones, who was injured with an knee injury, he had a great game today, 27 carries for 87 yards on the ground and a touchdown. His first, uh, his second NFL touchdown of his NFL career. Also, Jamison Crowder, he had himself a nice game. Nine catches for 107 yards and a touchdown. Jordan Reed, who's coming off of two missed games with a concussion. He had a great day today. Uh, nine catches for 99 yards and a touchdown. Then also, too, we also want to point out to the special teams troubles that we had again today. Dustin Hopkins, he missed a 34-yard field goal that would have gave the Redskins the win, but he missed it due to uh, head coach of the Cincinnati Bengals, Marvin Lewis, icing him during the first catch, which he made, but the timeout negated that attempt. Then on the second time around, he missed the 34-yard attempt. Then when the Cincinnati Bengals got the ball back, the Redskins, they caused a turnover, which gave them the ball with less than a minute to go. They drove down the field, but were not able to to get within field goal range. The final play, it was a Hail Mary toss-up by Kirk Cousins that ended it with an incompletion. So the ending result today is a tie. The Redskins are now 4-3-1, and one, but the feeling and the reaction of the players, it feels like a loss to some of them. Ryan Kerrigan said in a post-game interview that it felt like a loss. Head coach Jay Gruden doesn't really know how to feel due to the fact that it's a, it's a tie, but... Um, this is an ongoing issue that the NFL has been having for a couple of weeks now. Last Sunday night in the Sunday night football game when the Cardinals and the Seahawks were facing off against each other, that game ended in a tie. It was a very low-scoring game, ended in a tie. So now everybody's asking the question, should ties still be legal in the NFL? I don't know. That remains to be seen. Also, I want to point out, too, that receiver Deshaun Jackson, he went out during the third quarter with a concussion. He's in the concussion protocol right now. Also, safety Duke Iannaccio, he is in the, in the concussion protocol as well. So, you can follow us on Twitter at 1340 AM Fox Sports. Subscribe to our YouTube page, 1340 AM Fox Sports. Then follow me on Twitter at BWillSports, B-W-I-L-L-S-P-O-R-T-Z. This has been your Redskins Post Game Report by Brandon Williams, representing Fox Sports Radio, 1340 AM in Hopewell, Virginia. See you guys next week. <laughs>